Maybe that's why the trailer looks so bad because they can't show much of the movie because it's all spoilers. <laughs> that would be that would be a good thing. <laughs> Maybe this ends up being the most epic fucking superhero movie we have ever seen in our lives. Black Adam and The mm-hmm. Rock. I will always call him The Rock. I know it's Dwayne Johnson, but The Rock really wants to fight Superman. Like, really wants to fight Superman. And we've known that. He's been talking about that for a while, but he got shot down apparently by Warner Brothers and yada, yada, yada. He's been attached to this character since 2014, by the way. So he's on board with this thing. Now, before I jump into this story, I will say that the trailer for this movie, and I love The Rock, does not look great. I'm not going to say it looks terrible. No. It looks very, that happened, vanilla. Just like, just another one. Another, there's nothing about it that gets me excited. Um, we will find out, I think you're seeing it this week, aren't you? Uh, yeah, they're doing a screening on Thursday, and uh, we'll see. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I, I'm going to have to ask if there's an embargo for it, but uh, yeah, I'm seeing it Thursday, so we'll know if, uh, I mean, I'll I'll know if Superman's in the movie or not. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm I'm not seeing it that early. I got to wait a little bit longer. I'm hoping to get some early tickets, at least a a, a few days or something. But, um, mm-hmm. it's coming soon. Well, um, apparently Dwayne Johnson has been saying, and we, this is nothing new. He's been saying for a while that uh, the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Talking about Black Adam coming out and everything. When asked about whether or not he'd like to make a film with the two of them being Superman and himself going head to head, Johnson said, absolutely. That is the whole point of this man. I've been saying for some time, there's a new era in the DC universe that's about to begin. And what I meant by that was introducing a brand new character. It's not a sequel, not an existing IP. It was, you know, Black Adam. Two years ago, the world had no idea who he was. We did, but not, you know, the rest of the mass out there. Introducing the JSA, introducing a new era to the universe. Uh, What I really meant by the whole hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change thing. This is the new era of DC universe. Is listen. I'm sorry. This is the new era of DC universe. Listening to the fans, listening to the fans and doing our best to give the fans what they want. And maybe sometime down the road, and I, and I went through this in pro wrestling, is you can't always give them what you want. He talks really weird. Um, his sentence structure is all over the fucking place. But you'll always know what that we're listening. And in this case, with what you and I are talking about, I've been listening, and I've been wanting to address fans for years because I've been wanting for someone to step up and address the fans and say, hey, we hear you. So finally, after many months turned into many years, we ended up with what we ended up at. <laughs> and the whole goal and intention now is to this new era, this time. Now let's build out. All right, honestly, that sounds like a whole bunch of fucking hyperbob, like just words he threw together. <laughs> but I think and this is a ro- this is the rock talking. Yes, this is all. This is yeah. quoting him. Had he not had his like super duper <laughs> breakfast this morning? Like, I don't what the know. Hell? I, I had no idea what he was saying. I don't. I think what I decipher from this is he's saying, "Okay, we DC, we're, we're doing a new thing. This is new. We're doing a new thing, and also a new thing is we're listening to the fans. We want to listen to you guys and listen to what you have to say. We're not always necessarily going to give you exactly what you're saying you want." but we're going to try and give you what you need. But we are always listening to you. I think this is a big thing. He's just, he said listening a lot. <laughs> but I think that's what he was saying. That was all over the place. Now, also, uh, to go along with this and talking about Black Adam and uh, Superman, which we'll talk about all this in just a second, but he said, uh, well, not he said, but uh, Cavill, is set, Cavill said back in November that there is more he wants to do with the role of Superman. And there's a rumor going around that Cavill actually has already filmed the scene for Black Adam. Uh, by the way, Black Adam will hit theaters October 21st, 2022, which is only 10 days from now. The Rock saying, we're listening. We hear you. We hear you. Much like I, have a, we I see, see you. you. 
<laughs> but they <laughs> they hear you. He wants to, he wants to fan. It does. In all honesty, I think that's why he's bouncing all over the place. He sounds like a fan. He's been mm. he has been attached to this thing since 2014. Oh yeah, yeah. That's almost a whole decade he's, he's been working excited. on this thing. He's excited to get it out there, whether the movie's good or not. He's put a lot into it. I think he just wants people to know that hey, we're listening to you, and we we do care mm. about what you think. And I mean that's admirable. Whether that goes well or not, I don't know. But it's admirable that he's at least saying that, putting that out there. So, um, but I guess the big. I do, well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh uh, no, I was going to ask you this question before you continue. Knowing this possibility that Henry Cavill, Cavill could come back and them kind of re reconfiguring the ship from the DCEU, how do you feel about that? Like you being like a like a huge Henry uh, Cavill fan knowing that he could possibly come back in Black Adam for a scene and then kind of restructure it to where he gets a bigger role and they actually do something where they give him like a Man of Steel part two. Like, how do you how do you feel about that as a somebody who loves the DC uh, universe more than I do? Because me, I'm like, OK, cool. I mean, I I I love that. I don't I love I think Henry Cavill is a great Superman. I don't think he's had the best film opportunities but i think the character i found i think they found the perfect person to play superman i really like yeah. his take on superman i don't hate his films i actually like man of steel more now than i used to when i first saw it i didn't care for it i watched it one or two times later and i liked it a little bit more every time um and then mm -hmm. of course the subsequent Zack snyder films up to justice league or Zack snyder's justice league i like the character i would be cool with it i am more and if they had a new Superman come along, I think my biggest issue with it is that Cavill has said, I still want to be Superman. <laughs> you know, Justice Lee or a, a Zack Snyder verse or whatever you would call it, be damned. I still want to do Superman. I'm cool with it. Yeah. Just give me a call. I want to do it. <laughs> so I'm like, if you got this guy who, you know, I feel like a lot of people do like his take on Superman. Maybe not the movies, but they like the character. I don't think anybody would be offended if Henry Cavill came back in another Superman movie. I think a lot of people would be cool with that. I don't understand why when you've got this guy sitting here who who knows the character and is on board and is very well known saying, I want to do it, why not just do it? Just do another one. It doesn't have to be Zack Snyder's vision. Just have him and have him do another Superman movie. That and the direction that they were talking about going with Superman, I, I was vehemently against. Not because of any race stuff or anything like that. The reasoning behind it. I've spoken about that. <clears throat> multiple times on here and other mm -hmm. places it's the reasoning for going the direction they're going that i didn't agree with i don't think that that's the mm -hmm. reason you do any story and uh, some of the people that are involved are questionable in my opinion as well but as far as like if he shows up in black adam i mean yeah i'll be excited i'll be like hell yeah that was awesome i mean i'm not gonna like lose my ever living shit i do like henry cavill but i'm not gonna yeah. be like you know losing my ever like oh it's i'm not a stan i'm not gonna see henry cavill is getting another superman i'm not even gonna see it as meaning anything and he might show up in this oh movie man that don't mean shit those are those early screens if henry cavill pops up in those early screens like the the ones where the true fans go they're gonna lose their ever loving shit it's gonna be like fucking you know uh jim jim what's his face from the office you know being in john krasinski being you know doctor uh or whatever miss Andrew yeah. Garfield showed up in, in Spider-Man and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. And Tobey Maguire. Uh, yeah, I mean, so yeah, to answer your question around about way, yeah, I'd be excited. I'd be happy. I like him in that, that role. But on the flip side of that, with the way Warner Brothers is right now, that doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could come in with this Flash movie, because we don't know what the Flash movie holds. They're, they've done more reshoots with that. He could come in with this Flash movie, or they could come in with this Flash movie and just reset everything. That was the whole idea behind that movie originally, anyway, was to reset the whole universe and have all their new people coming in. But then they slashed all those, like their replacement Superman, Supergirl, and Batwoman and all that. That stuff's been dumped, so I don't know what the fuck they're doing over there. But I'm okay with it, because you want to know the thing that's not happening? We're not hearing about it every single fucking week either anymore. They finally <laughs> shut the fucking doors and said, we'll be with you in a little while. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Cool with it. But yeah, if he shows up, I think that'd be cool. Especially on a bunch of levels. We haven't seen him on the on the screen as Superman in a while. I did enjoy his interpretation of it. And also, I do know that The Rock was fighting so hard to get a Superman Black Adam face-off. I don't think they fight in the movie. 
Even if he shows up, no, no. it will be a post credits or a there at the end of the movie, kind of like he did in Shazam, except it it'll actually be him. I don't think they'll do because you know in Shazam it showed up and you couldn't see his head because it wasn't really him. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, that that's the best we'll get. He'll show up and maybe it'll be like. Who am I fighting next? And then he'll look and he'll see like him like floating off in the distance or something. I don't know. Or he'll walk up and be like, hey, you, or something like that. And then it'll cut to black or something. That's all we'll get. We're not going to get him showing up. If he showed up in a predominant role in this movie, I'll, I would be fucking shocked at that point. I highly doubt it. Maybe that's why the trailer looks so bad. Because they can't show much of the movie because it's all spoilers. <laughs> that would be that would be a good thing. <laughs> Maybe this ends up being the most epic fucking superhero movie we have ever seen in our lives. I don't know. Well, you'll find out this week. I'll find out in a, about a week. So, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah Henry Cavill, uh, the the Rock is spouting nonsense, but I think it's well <laughs> well meant nonsense. <laughs> He's like tripping over words and stuff. The Rock wants you to know we're listening to you, fans, and he's really excited about this movie. And rumors are, I don't know, they're reaching a fever pitch that Henry Cavill is, in fact, in Black Adam. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think. But hurry up and let us know because this movie's going to be out soon and we'll all know for sure. So join, jump on the speculation train and let's let's speculate so we can all see how we were wrong in a week. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think about Black Adam and Henry Cavill and The Rock's ramblings.